Hello all of my friends. This little video is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to I'm going to do a little bit and then I'm going to pause it and then because I'm in the middle of trying to clean in my room and organize a little bit because I have no place for my feet to go. And that's kind of necessary. And so but I want to do um some slashing and so what I'm doing, this is going to be, what size is this little piece of fabric? It's about 10 by 10, about. And I want to do some slashing and some fun slashing. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I want to have about four layers of fabric. But I'm using scraps of fabric to make my four layers. Let's see, I think, um, and I'm trying, you know, I, I really want it colorful, and, um, and, um, I, I want it to be colorful, I mean, different colors, so that when I slash the fabric, I'm going to get it sewn together, and then we'll slash it, but I just want it to really pop, you know, and so, I think... I think I picked some colors here that I'm going to like, but see, I'm just kind of, um, I'm just kind of, um, putting them on here, and then I'm going to stitch them. I can't stitch them right now because i got stuff in front of my sewing machine, so I'm going to have to move that stuff. But see, I'm going to pause this, and then I'm going to do some few things, and then I'm going to come back to this. And, and I'll be going like back and forth. So, but I've got some pretty colors and I'm going to just kind of um, put them here and there. This is gonna go on the top. And so, and just different colors here. Let's see, what do I have? Let's see, so I got two two oh, I'm gonna need more than this because see there are, that's three in that corner and that's four in that corner so let's put this one like this and oh I had this piece here but that's what's gonna be on the top so I'm not gonna use that and then this piece that I just cut off of there can go here and this red can go here and I'm just and this is going to be slashed on the diagonal so let me see I don't think I think I need just a wee bit another wee bit oh gosh I got this big bag of fabric if you could see what I have here, you'd say, oh, good night, noise. You'd say, oh, good night, noise. Okay, I'm going to take this piece, and then I'm going to take, ooh, I don't want to use up all my cows. Let's see, but that is pretty, the colors. I'm going to take, save that cow there for something else. So I can use this piece, because see that color? is just beautiful and then this is a black background but it's it's black background but it's um got the pretty flowers in there so i think this is what i'm gonna end up doing right there and um tear that off of there and then this is going to be right on the top right on the top so after I do my slashing, and I think this this will be a nice top piece. So I'm going to, um, oh yeah, I really do need to tidy up around here. I've been doing like so many, I just, well, Jeffrey's here, so we've had, a, oh, we've had a nice time today. We've sat on a porch and we discussed the world ways of the world of how and we discussed is how we can make the world a better place and 
we decided and we critiqued what everything is wrong, going wrong in politics and well, we probably didn't get all that discussed, but now see I'm gonna have that pin together like this and then I'm gonna stitch it this back piece is actually a piece of upholstery fabric and I think and it's got like gold and stuff in there I think that's gonna be really pretty when that shows through okay I can't get to the sewing machine because I got stuff all the way around it earlier today I was covering these pieces of chipboard because I want to make I'm gonna make a journal out of this and I love these pages it's chipboard but I covered it with these vintage pages that come out of um out of what was that book I got this cool it's old and Witter's Poems and the book is old as Methuselah um 1857 so it's like old, but it already has a lot of pages torn out. So then I didn't mind tearing some more out. But that's what I covered these pages with. But I don't know how I'm going to bind the edge. There's an edge binding I want to do on there, but I don't know how it's done. And I don't know what it's called. And so, but it's where each page is stitched on almost individually and I got to learn that because that's how this is going to be put together and so that's in my way and I've just got a few things that are just plumb in my way and um, so I'm going to I've got that on there so I'm going to pause and I'm going to straighten up so I can get to my sewing machine and then I'm going to continue on you'll not even know that I was missing Okay, okay, I moved a few things out of the way so I could get to my sewing machine and um, hopefully today I get some stuff done. Actually, I put this thing on pause yesterday. Now I just got done with um, making pancakes for Jeffrey and Papa and well, me too, I ate pancakes and we ate and so now I'm good. I'm good for a minute. I get a, a little rest. Well, that's all I ever get is rest. But, okay, now what I'm going to do, this is layered fabric. I love to do things with layered fabric and then go into the layers and um, find art in the layers. And so what I'm going to do on this one, I'm going to use my tailor's chalk to make little lines so I can um, see where I want to stitch. See, when I use the tailor's chalk, that I can see where um, I want to make my little lines and so now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just draw I'm putting this in quarters now so that doesn't really want to draw on that this kind of fabric but I can oh there we go now I can see it okay now now I'm going to take I'm going to take, um, okay, this is how I'm going to do this. I'm going to, I want this quarter to have stitches going this way, and this quarter stitches going this way. And then these two quarters are going to be X's or checkerboards. So I'm going to draw my lines where I'm going to put my stitches. And I'm putting my lines about, oh, three-eighths of an inch apart. And I could probably just do it just using the presser foot as a guide, but I'm going to go ahead and do lines so that I can be careful as to make sure I get my, um, my, um, my seams pretty straight because I want this to turn out kind of pretty and um, I'm thinking what I want to do is to when I have my my um, have it all done up that that I will have enough this is about a 10 by 10 inch square so if I always make my little 
uh, scraps, my little squares, to be about a 10 by 10, all on my layered fabric squares. About a 10 by 10. Um, then, then I can sew them all together to make a quilt, a layered fabric, artistic quilt. We'll see how that works. The way I do things, though, you never know. You never know what will happen. Because I, that's why I had to make my, um, my reminder prompt cards. To remind me of things that I have started. And I need to quit um, ignoring them. And so my reminder cards are... That's what I do my live streams is always with my reminder cards. And um, so actually when I finish this square here, I'm going to go ahead and put a reminder card in my box for um, layered fabric squares. And that way when I pull, in case I put this off to the side and then get going on another jillion things, then... I'll have it in the, in the box. You never know when I'll pull it. See, now I'm putting the lines on this way. And so, but I like my reminder prompt cards because that reminds me. And what I've done, I'm doing right along is as I'm digging through stuff, you know, because I'm always digging through stuff in my area. And, um... As I'm digging through, then I say, oh, I forgot I had this. Then I'll write that on a card. If I say, oh, I forgot I had this, and then I write it on a card and um, put it in my prompt card. So then I know to try to get to that. Try to get to that. Because you never know. I'm going to put my, put my straight pin back in here. So, yeah, I have my grandson with me this this week, I mean this weekend, for three nights, which is beautiful. We've had, we, we get into these long, uh, our front porch chats. If we sit on the front porch, it just brings out um, very interesting conversations. And um, so we've had some very interesting conversation. It's amazing what you can learn from the younger generation it's not all we can teach them these days it's a wow what we can learn from them is amazing so okay I almost got my lines done on here and then I just found out I have a grandson Vincent that's up there in um, Alabama and Doggone if he just didn't up and get married. But I guess they didn't really plan it ahead a lot. Well, they've been, him and his girlfriend's been together since they were like 16. He's now 19. And well, he'll be 19 on Valentine's Day. And so, and he got married. I was, so I just called him, or he called me this morning. I tried to call him yesterday, but he didn't. And he was sleeping. He works nights. And so he just called me back this morning. And it was good to talk to him. It's ama amazing how time just flies. My gosh. I said, you know, when your dad first told me you got married, I said, I said, how could that be? He's only 12. And, but no, he's not 12. He's be 19 in just a few days. So, but I had met his lady because they were down a couple years ago they came and I met her then she was very sweet and so and I guess she's just gotten sweeter now see on this side I'm putting the um, the um, what I call a checkerboard and um, the stitches will go along that checkerboard now Okay, and then we're going to go down to this one, this square, and put that pin back over here. And 
and yeah, they live in Wetumpka, Alabama. But they're going to be moving in January. They're going to move to Texas because of a job opportunity he has that'll start then in in January. So they're fixing to go on a cruise. His in-laws are going to give them a cruise, let them go on a cruise for their um, honeymoon there. They paid for a cruise for them, so that'll be nice. Although they plan to have a, um, a for they had, didn't have a formal wedding. They just went and got married. And um, because they wanted their anniversary, they wanted to get married on 2 22 And so they did that. And they figured they can go ahead and get married and have a wedding anytime. So that's what they're doing. And they got married on 2 2 2 22. They don't plan to have children until after he gets um, settled into the job because he's going to be getting into electric, elect, be an electrician type of job. Okay, okay, the first thing I'm going to do here now is I'm going to stitch my headphones, my headphone wire out of the way here. Okay, so I hope you all are warmed up. I'm telling you, I'm hearing about this crazy weather people have been having. Cold, cold weather. So I hope all of you have warmed up. Now, um, there we go. Now I'm going to, first I'm going to go across back and forth. And, um, Do the um, sew it into the quarters first. And then I will I may not do all of the stitching while on mine, I might go ahead and well, um, I might go ahead and pause it while I do because this will be a lot of stitching on the on the um, on on the um, strapped side. And I don't want this to be like a real long video. Oops, I put that on my thread. There. Okay, now. Okay, so I went, did that, so I got each one of my four sections. So now I'm going to go and stitch on the, on the um, checkerboard piece. I may not stay right on the lines, but hey, who's going to be looking? I want you to see my bugs under there. I saved my bugs under there. Okay. What is that? A crumb throat and floor.
didn't mean to to push you there. Didn't mean to push the buttons. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, I didn't want to go that way. I wanted to go. Okay, let me just move you where I want you. Right here. Okay. Now, and then I'm going to show you what I want to do. My bug. Stay under there. My bug. I'm going to do something with them bugs before you know it. I'll just surprise you. Bug art. Okay, now I have this whole piece, this one square. I've got all of the stitches done there. And so, let's see, and I wonder if I want to, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and do this half now, this quarter, with the diagonal lines, I'm going to put the diagonal line stitches. This one here, this part takes a little bit of time now. Let's see. Then, um, okay. And then we will get these. Then maybe I can... Using um, my multicolored threads, I usually always use the multicolored threads because that is my, I just love them and I use them on most everything. Hope I never have to wake a wedding dress because it would be all made with multicolored threads. just ordered something I didn't need but I wanted really really bad I've been wanting for a while um, some of you have seen my live streams when I do a live stream I do my live streams using my webcam that's right on the computer and so it shows my face and um, not that I got that pretty face that I need to show but it's just the way I do it right from my camera I mean right from the, the thing and I've been wanting a screen to go behind me and I wanted a screen that had like a bulletin board on it like a cork board and um, and so and I've had it I've had what I wanted in my cart in Amazon for a while and I was just kept saying, when I get enough money, I'm going to order this because I want it so I can pin things to my cork board. Like especially like sometimes I get beautiful cards and things, especially from from um, subscribers that are so beautiful. I mean, everybody's beautiful, but um, and just and I've seen other people that use a screen behind them and 
I think it looks really nice rather than you seeing my mountains of my mountains of mess because I have mountains of mess and then I clean up my mountains of mess and I get real proud of myself because I clean up my mountains and then um, within a day they're back into the mountainous region again and so but anyway I've been wanting this screen and well I was an extremely generous generous um, subscriber she sent me a gift the other day and it was enough for me to get my screen and so I said to myself self this is telling me that I am going to get my screen and so I ordered it so it should be here Friday I think so I'm excited so but like if I make just one square like this, if I never get any farther, I might put that up on my screen just for beautiful. Just for beauty's sake. Just for beauty's sake. So I can't hardly wait till I get it. I'm real excited to be able to get that. I think that's all I have on my wish list. Actually, I don't know if I have anything else on my wish list. I can't remember. I don't think so, though. I didn't ever put it on my wish list. Um, on my wish list. It was just in my cart for myself to get something. But because I think I'm a princess and I deserve to have everything. Yeah, not really, but you know, it was fun to say. But anyway, okay. this isn't as bad as, it, it's not as hard as it, as it looks to have to go, and I'm not getting my, um, my stitch lines exactly on the lines I drew, but they're close enough. It sort of keeps them sort of where they should be. So see, I just pick up my needle and then just move the whole thing over just that a little bit of an inch it's a little bit more than a quarter of an inch probably but they're not exactly but it's an art it's an art form <sighs> blow some of that chalk off of there yes okay I love you too darling my silly husband I love him my silly husband giving me charades to let me know he's going to go for his road run. Road runner. Okay. He's going to have a birthday in just a few days. He's going to be saving, he's saving. See? It's good to have birthdays because you know what they say. The more birthdays you have, the longer you live. So it's good to have a birthday. Have about one a year is usually average. Okay. Oh. That's a lot of stitching, isn't it? But I love stitching. I just love the hum of the sewing machine. I think it's a beautiful sound. It's like music to my ears. Almost to the corner. That's where I want to be, is to the corner. And then I'll show you on this one here what I'm going to be doing. And, um, and this one too, just like my rag quilts, my rag pieces, they need to be washed and dried before you get the full effect of the beauty of it. And I'm telling you, and, and as you saw when I put this together, 
a lot of scrap pieces. Even this top piece could have been just scrap pieces, but I, because the colors in this piece are just gorgeous, I thought, well, we're going to put them right on the top. That one whole piece. Usually, I always have a, the bottom piece, the lay, the bottom layer is usually always one, one, um, one piece of fabric, and then by using the multiple different pieces at the um, inside layers, and like I've got about four layers everywhere on here, like four areas, layers. Now see, you can see how those stitches are just all on the diagonal. And so then what I do now, I have a little tool here. Oh. And, oh, what did they call this tool? It's a, a slash cutter. And, and as you can see, it's like a, um, it's a, uh, rotary cutter but it's got like a little ski blade underneath it and so this blade I mean the the little ski underneath that keeps it from going all the way through so that's what this is is this is a slasher and it is made especially for this kind of thing and so what I'll do is I'll take that point there and go right in and you see, I'm just choosing a, a row, and you put that right in there and push it through. Oh, I got that one kind of tight, and that will go right through. Oops, you know what I have to do? I have to cut that very end. Let me get my little pointy, pointy scissors, because I need to cut that right there. You know, that's where I should start them. I need that little hole for that piece to come through. Now look at that. I cut the wrong one. <laughs> oh, good grief, Elizabeth. Oh, you know what I should use? Is my seam ripper. Do I still have it sitting right here? If I had my seam ripper, I don't have it sitting right there. I think I put it back in the swing box. That would mean I have to get up. Okay, now let's see if that'll go through that hole. Yeah, see there, it just popped through the hole. And there you go. And that whole scene now is is um is ripped. Okay, but since I have more than one layer. Hmm, just a minute. I gotta get my seam ripper. Pause while I go find it. Okay, I found my seam ripper. It was right in the top of my sewing box where it belongs. That's amazing. Okay, now which way was I going? Oh, I'm down here. I'm going to use my seam ripper and I'm going to go through and just cut the ends. See, that works better to cut. I'm back. Okay, sweetie. Um, the Roadrunner is back. From his street walking activity. So see if I go through. Now see if I was to do a piece and had the whole thing done this way. I wouldn't have to go and do this. Is to get us the starting point. So I'm just going through. Okay, I'm not going to do them all right now. Okay, see, so now I can go through here. And now I've got that hole to start it. So I can put the ski in there. Ooh, I got them a little tight. Some of these I got a little tight. This one is a little tight. Well, if I have it a little tight, then I have to use my little snip scissors here. And I can just sit. So see, you don't have to have. You don't. You don't have to have the uh, the the slasher. I mean, it's not necessary. Because, but now see here, because I made my 
little um, seam a little bit tight there. See, you can do, you just use your scissors and go across. And see now, you can see as I open up that slash, as you look in, in there, you can see the different colors of the fabric. But then you can, on some of them, but not all of them, I'm going to cut through more than one layer of fabric. I am not kidding. I'm not kidding. Okay, see, I'll go through the next layer of fabric. Along, I just want to make sure I do not go through the backing fabric. And then, once I wash this and dry it, then all of these um, edges are fray real nicely. They're going to be beautiful. And so... And then all those different fabrics that you put in there will all really show up beautifully. They're gonna, they're going to all. It, it takes a little while, you know, to get them all done, but it's worth the wait, and it's worth the fun. It's worth it because when you're done, you're. It's just. It's amazing. Now, I'm not going to film every bit of, every bit of cutting here. And, um, I'll do some of it offline. Now, see there, I've got that all the way through to that. You can't hardly see that, but that's the backing that I have on there. Piece of upholstery fabric, and I got it all the way to that right there. But on this part of it, I don't have it all the way to that backing fabric. So as this one gets like washed, and because it'll fluff up once it's washed, then um, then um, and you can make wider seams, like. You know, if they were half inch, then this thing would slide right through it. See that slide slid that took a slip slide right on through there. It's like it's in the Olympics. Yeah, see how that went right through there. And on some of them, maybe you just want to go one layer through. Some of them you might want to go through all the layers, all the way to the backing. And it's just whatever, and that would have went with. You can use your scissors, or you can use your your um. You can even use your seam ripper. That's not a seam ripper. That's the handle to the seam ripper. Where'd the seam ripper go? Well, good grief, Elizabeth! Half the time. Let's see. Let's go through here. Now, see, this one wants to stop there because I didn't cut those ends. So, it, it's a little bit of time consuming, but it's fun. I'm telling you, this is fun. I mean, it's more fun than watching paint dry. It really is. And watching paint dry is really fun. Because I'm a lazy person. So, I like watching paint dry. I've been knitting on my blanket, a crow knitting on my blanket. And so far, I got it about six inches. It's got the width to it. Up. Where did that seam ripper go? The Lord have mercy. How in the world is there anybody on God's green earth that is like me and you just lose everything? Well, let's not worry about that. Let's not give that no worry. See, this one's definitely skinnier than my thingy skinnier than my thingy so but you can kind of see what's happening here can you see what's happening there 
is all of those seams how they're just coming apart and they're just beginning to look like um like a chenille work but it's beautiful i think it's beautiful in its in its art form and when this here piece is finished this here one square is finished it's going to be beautiful because it's going to have four different squares on it but, but see there look at that now see just by rubbing it like this giving it a good rub look what it does already just giving it a rub how pretty that is but when it's done i'll put that in the washing machine in the dryer and that's going to be so pretty well i'm going to work on this for a while and probably go ahead and do these two squares here and then before i do these two squares then i'll put it back on the camera so i'm going to go ahead and pause for now while i work or who knows i might not get to it till tomorrow you never know so i'll be right back I just had to turn this back on again for a second because I found my seam ripper. It was just right under there. But um, I am noticing that using the seam ripper is almost working more better, more better, more better. It's um, quicker. Actually, the seam ripper is, if you've got a nice sharp seam ripper, it actually works better. And if you're if your little seams are, of course now it's gonna now that i turn the camera on but look at how it just glides right through that fabric and cuts it and um i think i should go ahead and order me a couple of seam rippers so i have extras in case one goes oops don't let that go through that bottom layer um i have extras so if this does get a little dull but see now that i went through all of these and it was working so nicely and i said oh i gotta just turn the camera on for a second then it doesn't want to be as nice to me come on be nice to me be nice to mama look look there it goes there it goes watch there it goes you want to be careful not to cut the threads though don't, don't be cutting the threads just the fabric in between the threads just the fabric in between the threads don't cut the threads but see it actually goes quicker with and nicer with the seam ripper that's amazing and so yeah see how that does it's going right through that really nice thumbs i need to put on my gloves i got my gloves these are the gloves i ordered and they really do make a difference these are isotoner fingerless gloves and it's amazing how much they kind of just they really help I'm sure you can get them in different brands too. These are just so happens what the brand was that I ordered. But see there now I've got all of them on that piece cut. And look how it looks. Isn't that beautiful? So now I'm going to do this side over here. And I'll be back. I'll be back. Oh, I love this. Love it. I'm, I'm back on here again. I decided because I see that this is already almost 45 minutes long that I'm going to go ahead and I just keep want to feel that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close this one up for now. And I, I'm, then I'm going to do this side over here and get that done. And then get this stitched though because I still have to stitch this side and stitch this one. And then I'm going to do this one and then... I'll start on part two when I get to these here with the squares, then that'll be part two. So I'm going to finish with part one.
with a little bit of a read here in Poems of Faith by Helen Steiner Rice. And we'll just open it up right here. Ooh, A Child's Faith. I got little figs all through this book. Okay. A Child's Faith. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little children ask no more, for love is all they're looking for. And in a small child's shining eyes, the faith of all the ages lies. In tiny hands and tousled heads that kneel in prayer by little beds are closer to the dear Lord's heart and of his kingdom more apart than we who search and never find the answers to our questioning mind. For faith in things we cannot see requires a child's simplicity. For lost in life's complexities, we drift upon uncharted seas, and slowly faith disintegrates while wealth and power accumulates. And the more man learns, the less he knows, and the more involved his thinking grows. And in his arrogance and pride, no longer is man satisfied to place his confidence and love with childlike faith in God above. O oh, Father, grant me more to men a simple childlike faith again, and with a small child's trusting eyes, may all men come to realize that faith alone can save man's soul and lead him to a higher goal. And that, I'm glad I opened to that one, because these are true words. These are very, very true words. Okay, oh, I guess I read that once before on January 2nd, 2021. That's very good to read again. Alrighty then. Okay, God bless you all. May he watch over you every step you take, every move you make, bring you back safe and sound, happy and humble to the next video. God bless you all, and thanks for watching.